Hey guys, if you're looking for new and interesting games to play, retro or somewhat modern, you guys should check out VideoGames1.com. Yes, VideoGames1.com has a wide range of selection of old and somewhat newer games, uh, ranging from Nintendo to PlayStation 3, as well as Xbox 360. So, go to VideoGames1.com. And here we go. Through a new door. This is where I need to be. This has to be the uh, this has to be the bout this has to be the area I need to be to uh, call upon the doggies. This has to be the area. This is where I need the whistle. This is the area I need to blow. Ooh, I just unlocked this door. This has to be Yes, because this is gonna lead me out. Oh, everything is forming. Everything is moving just like it's supposed to. Everything is moving up. Moving it up. So I need to go and find me a dog whistle. And that it should not be too hard. Because I walk through this door, I go over here. I go over here, I come down here, I go over there, now go down there. And I go over here, get right back here, go through that door, oh yeah, through the open door. Ooh -ha. And I just walk over to that chair, open it like so, and I take out my dough whistle. Probably should save it. Alrighty then. Nice and saved. Let me put that back. I'm gonna get me whatever that dog fucking has. But first, let's see what I can fill up in that cantina, shall we? Because, yes, that cantina is definitely something I need to fill up. I must be ready for this. The only way I can be ready is if I'm able to burn zombies. If I'm not able to burn zombies, I'm not ready whatsoever. Open sesame. Now. Alright. Canteen is good. I'm feeling good. I feel that now I have finally found that missing thing I've been looking for all my life. And here it is. Da -da 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 Charge. Now, if I'm right, I'm going to blow this whistle and I'm going to call Lassie. A blue dog whistle. Here, Lassie. Here, yeah, boy, girl, whatever you are. I don't know, I can hear you. Ooh, you got something shiny. Oh, wait. Aha, there you are. I knew Brian the dog was going to be following. Ooh, you dropped something. Shiny, 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 shiny. You have taken the collar. Well, let's examine this collar, shall we? Let's examine it. It doesn't look too weird. Oh, it's shiny right there. Is it possible? Yes, I want to press the switch. Oh, you look like you could be a part of a key. This coin. That could be a possible key. Uh, yeah. And you show armor. Nothing unusual about it. It changed the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. Oh, 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 yeah. Ah, hoo, hoo. Yes, I want to discard that. We don't need a dog whistle anymore. Okay. I know what I got to do. 
Oh boy, do I know what I gotta do now. We're moving along now. We're gonna move along, move along, move along. Alright. So, what I have to do is, I'm gonna have to go and switch the real key on that death trap with this imitation key. And then I get the real key and the imitation key stays behind. All these savings and everything, oh, I'm getting tired. I think I've already logged in at least five hours on this game so far. Alright, I'm over exaggerating. I kind of calculating. Yeah, it's more like three and a half hours. But it's still, that's still a lot of time. Not to toot my own horn or nothing, but I had myself very well trained back in the day, back on PS1, where I was able to beat uh, Resident Evil 2 in 2 hours and 15 minutes. Tops. Think about that. And I didn't, and I killed zombies and stuff along the way. That was a messed up thing. I mean, I know that there is, uh, Things that you need to do. I think that you get a trophy in here if you uh, beat the game in five hours. There's another trophy if you beat it less than three hours. The only way I can think about the three hours is if you um, just. Uh, not kill anything. Or not kill anything important. I mean, like. Um, like that one zombie at the beginning, you gotta kill him. But anything else, I think you can just run around. Oh, you're gonna have to kill a dog. There's also a trophy I saw, and I just scanned for trophies because I'm a trophy whore. See what I can possibly do. I saw one of the freaking uh, trophies, which is kill everything with a knife. And I'm literally looking at that like, how the hell do you do that? How do you go this entire game with just a fucking knife? You can't kill that snake with a knife, it'd kill you! I mean, I know about the fucking snake, I remember the fucking snake in the game from back when I was a kid. You know, unless they got rid of the snake, and they should not have gotten rid of the snake. If they got rid of the snake, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh. Ah. Oh. So... And I think if I remember correctly, you gotta fight a titan or tyrant at the end of this. And uh, you need you can't use a knife. The tyrant would slaughter you. You would have to like I forgot how his how, how his mobility factor is, but I mean really when you take on the tyrant, uh, you're kind of just like you either gear up or you're not even worth going in. I'm sorry, I'm taking away from the actual gameplay here. So we shall continue on. I think I heard something. So I'm going to be a little careful. I'm here. It's up. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. How are you doing today? Good. There you go. We're being sponsored by Charcoal. Kings for Charcoal. For all your zombie burning needs. <laughs> Let's try to get some doors unlocked here. Open sesame. Oh, whoa. Yes, I'll take the assault, the flash grenade. Whoa, oh, oh. I'm, I'm here. I think I'm, I'm, I'm hearing something. I don't know. 
if you can hear it, but I can hear it. I swear to God, I was hearing something. I'm hearing things, sorry. Going insane. I'm hearing the voices in my head. And they're just doing so wonderful. They're kind of upset that I'm not using a knife. So I can't see all those little emotions that these nice, friendly, decaying dead can show me. Oh, what a nice room. You look friendly. You look kind of dead. And I might... Oh, can't burn you. No. Whoa. There's somebody in the closet. Excuse me, sir. Please, whatever you do, do not come out of the closet. We are not ready for you to come out of the closet. Sir, madam, I don't give a shite. Do not come out of the closet. I know when I go to that closet door, someone will be coming out of the closet. As long as I stay away from the closet, I think I'm good. Alright, these closet jokes have run their fun.